Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this water block system from XSPC. Gonna take a look at the box, pretty plain Jane, nothing going on, and we'll pop it open. And what this is containing is water blocks for the MSI Big Bang X Power 2 motherboard. And here is the installation guide for that. I uh, did an unboxing of the motherboard in an earlier video and basically what this is going to replace is going to replace the bullet heat sink here and then this heat sink there and then the um, minigun shaped heat sink there. So I'm not a real big fan of those and I've heard stories of them shorting out the motherboard and rather than have to worry about that I would just assume water cool. So, else in the box is some thermal um, pads, I guess is probably the word, and then there's an itty bitty screw and nut in there as well. And then we have the water block to replace the minigun very simple it's just a copper base a little bit of a little bit of weight to it feels pretty good it does and then one of the do not eat packets then we also have this which kind of caught me off guard at first by looking at this this uh, goes like this on the board but it's way smaller than what came off um, this goes where um, slide some of this out of the way. This actually goes where the bullets go, and the only thing I can think of is being that water is a much better conductor of heat that you don't need near as much of the surface area to uh, cool the components. So basically, you end up like that, which is significantly smaller than this. So that's going to look a hell of a lot nicer I think than the uh, the brass bullets and this definitely will keep it from shorting out if I if uh, I understand correctly where the shorts were occurring was actually on the minigun down there somewhere it was just uh, shorting out somewhere underneath there and rather than some people have said they've taken it off and co uh, used the rubber coating underneath of it Rather than do all that, I think it's just easier to water cool. So anyway, let's get into this and I'll follow the instructions step by step and we'll take the uh, existing heat sinks off and then we'll replace them with the blocks. So let's get started. So here's a look at this heat sink. And there we are there. Now we'll go for the chipset. Okay, so here is this one here with the copper and then the heat pipe coming across. It looks like that's just a motherboard protector there. And then we move up in to where that was up there. Appears to cool that and then down in there there's some little chips in that. And then we have the X79 chipset there. So the next step to do is going to be to clean up the thermal pad left behind and thermal paste left behind. Anything in there and then along here and on the bottom. So I'll get those cleaned up and then we will continue on. And 
better get a little better cloth there to clean off some of that lint left behind from that rag. Okay, now we go for the power delivery. Okay, we're looking all right. Just do a little bit of touch up with a lint free cloth, and we are good to start the water blocks. Okay, so basically, now with the installation is the reverse of how it was taking it apart. Same screws go back in with the same pads over the screws. Tighten them down. have one more screw that goes in I've got that little screw and I thought it was a nut before but it's actually a little washer so we have that itty bitty tiny screw and washer that will go right there and then thread into the block on the other side. There we go. Now I'll double check. So there, as you can see, the same three screws that came out are now back in and be sure to reuse those little plastic motherboard protector things that are around the, the screws and as you can see there okay and then over here we've got the bottom plate squeezed in with the new screw put into there you can see our thermal pad is making contact all the way across and then right here as well too so we'll get in there and we'll make sure it doesn't appear where we're going to have any kind of short circuiting in there it looks like it covers pretty well all the way across and underneath and I'll just do another double check here make sure these screws are Tighten down well, and they appear that all the screws tighten down well. And so here we are. There is the finished product. We have the CPU power delivery heatsink on, and the chipset. So again, replacing this here oh, I also removed the battery at one point in the video too just to make sure I didn't cause any problems so basically yep we remove this here and then we removed this that was up here 
about there and replaced it. So that is what we end up with. And now we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. So anyway, thank you for watching. This was the XSPC water block installation kit for the MSI Big Bang X Power 2 motherboard. And as always, thank you for watching.